The Mavericks have been awful since getting Kyrie, but not for the reason you might think. Just when they needed wins the most, they are stacking L's. Now, Shum says the Mavs may shut down Luka and Kyrie with a chance to make the playoffs. The team's like, what's the point anyway? We suck. But a new report came out that makes the pain even worse. Yahoo says Kyrie will test free agency to maybe leave the Mavs. It looks like a matter of time before Luka demands a trade, but there is one move they can make to save the franchise. But Kyrie is not the problem. It all leads back to a horrible front office and owner. In Luka's second season, it was clear he was a young genius. People comparing him to LeBron James and Larry Bird. So the Mavs pulled off a huge trade for Kristaps Porzingis that failed miserably. They peaked at the five seat and won zero playoff series together. But last year, they made the conference finals with Luka and Jalen Brunson. Before last season, they could have re-upped Brunson for four years, 55 million. That would have been the best contract in the NBA. But they messed that up too. Jalen says he would have taken that cheap deal, but the Mavericks refused. So they waited until the All-Star break when it was too late. It was obvious Brunson was gonna make a lot more money, so he turned it down. Then the Mavs could have offered more than the Knicks to keep him, but they didn't. And for the Knicks, Brunson is a winner. He is the number one reason they're returning to the playoffs. Dude won two championships in college and only gets better in the playoffs. So with all those mistakes, they panicked and went all in for Kyrie Irving. Now, if Kyrie wants to leave, they basically lost Brunson, Spencer Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith, and a first for nothing. Talk about ruining your chance with Luka. How many times do we see a team get super lucky in the draft only to screw it up? The best example is the Cavaliers with LeBron James. They drafted him number one and built around him with quick fix veterans and retread coaches. Sound familiar? Eventually, LeBron was forced to leave his hometown that he has tattooed on his body for a better situation. What they could have done was grown organically with smaller moves like the Bucks around Giannis or the Celtics around Jason Tatum. But Luka and LeBron have one big difference. Young LeBron could impact every game with defense and without dominating the ball. Luka doesn't work well with other stars. Not so far, at least. Kyrie is not the problem. Luka dominates the offense, so everyone else is overshadowed. Why would a young star want to have his stats and his skill limited by Luka? If he was actually like LeBron, almost any star could fit around him. LeBron can win with point guard Kyrie or big man Anthony Davis, but with Luka, it feels like they're trying to find the exact right person to fit next to him, if that even exists. But his other big flaw is maturity. He has the attitude of an entitled 10-year-old, and I know that's a really harsh thing to say, but it's the facts. It's the facts! He complains to the ref after almost every play. He even complains after getting the call sometimes, which affects his defense, his attitude on the next play, and the overall vibe of his team. Remember his rookie year when Luka got mad and tore his jersey in half? We all thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Turns out, it was an early sign he can't control his emotions. And I am not even talking here about parting in the offseason, not being able to stay in shape. I am saying his overall style does not seem fun to play with. People say the number one issue with Luka and Kyrie is defense. But before Kyrie got there, they had the 24th out of 30 defense. After, they dropped all the way to 25th. One spot. They have always been bad on defense. But they've dropped from 5th place in the West to 11th. So what happened? It's because Kyrie doesn't make this team that much better. Think about it. Is Kyrie that big of an upgrade over Spencer Dinwiddie on offense to make up for the defensive loss of Dorian Finney-Smith? No, especially on a team with Luka. The offense is already going to be great. How much better could Kyrie make them? But now they have a problem. If they can't re-sign Kyrie, the options are limited. I don't know how many chances they're going to get to mess this up before Luka demands a trade. But Kyrie's dirty little secret is he wants to re-sign in Dallas. So why is he talking to other teams? 
to squeeze every last dollar out of the Mavs. Look at how much more they can offer him. They could pay up to $273 million, the max from any other team, four years, $202 million. That's an extra $71 million. Kyrie knows this is his last contract. He knows how badly he ruined his reputation. Kai wants this so bad, he left the Nets because they refused to offer him the max. He left his best friend, Kevin Durant. But of course the Mavs don't want to lock in Kyrie for the heck. So he's going to try to get another offer from another team and force Dallas to pay him max money. But the problem is the only other teams that can give him an offer are the Lakers and teams that suck. Here's a look at those teams. You can see the Lakers are the only team that makes sense right now, but I have a surprise team People will be all over this summer. But first, Kyrie and LeBron want to play together. But we just got a very worrying report. From what I've been told, uh, they're not going to be pursuing Kyrie Irving uh, this offseason. Uh, but to, to my you know, knowledge and, and to what I've been told, uh, the, the Kyrie ship, I think, has sailed. And again, you never want to say never, so that, that could easily change. But uh, you know, as of right now, their plan is to run this back. So no Lakers! But what about the Rockets? They have enough for two max contracts. That means Kyrie and Jalen Brown. They have become great friends since Kyrie left Boston. A recent report just said Irving now describes Brown as a brother. And Jalen said Kyrie is not afraid of big moments, of doing great things. He's one of those people that's special. There is a lot of smoke about Jalen potentially leaving Boston. What if he and Kyrie teamed up in H-Town? I do expect that to be talked about this summer, but the other option for the Mavs is to sign and trade him to a team without cap space. So teams that could be interested, I think, are the Clippers, the Heat, the Sixers, and the Suns. All of those teams could need a point guard, and they have championship expectations. And in return, the Mavs would look for a 3 and D type player to build a playoff team around Luka. But if the Mavs do that, it takes away option number three, which is cap space. If Kyrie walks for nothing, Dallas opens up about 25 million to sign players. But a sign and trade eats into that number. So who could they get with all that money? I have my best free agents here broken down into three tiers. I think they could get maybe one of the guys at this top tier, maybe. There are stars or maybe a number two next to Luka. Then in the second tier, I think maybe they can get two of these guys. I would call them high-level role players. Then at the bottom, these are just useful players that they could sign for depth. But I don't trust this front office. This last option, cap space, is the worst thing they could do because of the moves the front office has already messed up in the past. But there is a conspiracy that goes all the way back to when Kyrie was on the Cavs. LeBron James once left the team in the middle of the season to revitalize and rejuvenate, which had a lot of people asking questions. But now the questions are back and some people are speaking out and telling LeBron's secret. Check it out.